President-elect Donald Trump has vowed to begin a mass deportation plan to expel every undocumented immigrant in the U.S. beginning on the day one when he takes office. That has now named, he has now named two people who are likely to head up that program. Christian Benavides has details from West Palm Beach, Florida. We will begin the largest deportation operation in American history. President-elect Donald Trump's vow to begin deporting undocumented immigrants helped sweep him into office, and now he's putting the people in place to make it happen. Trump posted Sunday on Truth Social that he is naming former ICE director Tom Homan as his borders are. Homan defended Trump's signature pledge on 60 Minutes last month. Seen one estimate that says it would cost $88 billion to deport a million people a year. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Is that what American taxpayers should expect? What price do you put on national security? Is that worth it? Holman recommended the zero tolerance policy during Trump's first administration, resulting in undocumented immigrants being separated from family members who were citizens. He told term? 60 Minutes, this time will it? be different. Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. CBS News has also confirmed Stephen Miller, a vocal advocate for strong immigration policies during Trump's first term, will be deputy chief of staff for policy. Neither Holman nor Miller need Senate confirmation, but Trump is pushing for the new Republican-controlled Senate to move quickly to confirm the rest of his cabinet. Thank you for coming here today. That includes New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who will be leaving Capitol Hill to serve as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach, Florida.